ABC 10 News at 4 starts now. Now is the time that we can come together as a community and reverse the trajectory. A strong warning from county leaders as COVID cases surge. Their message about holiday travel during record high numbers in San Diego. A desperate call from local businesses fearing they won't survive another shutdown. And good news about a possible vaccine on the way. It is a growing tug of war between efforts to limit the spread and the financial sacrifice required to do it. Thank you for joining us. I'm Kimberly Hunt. Today, we heard a call to action by local and state leaders as nearly all of California plunged into the purple tier. This while San Diegans call on them to let withering businesses reopen. We go live to this rally happening right now in just a moment. But first, county officials just finished an emergency coronavirus briefing and ABC 10 News reporter Mimi Alcala is joining us standing by live. And Mimi, our daily case rates are higher than ever. They are, Kimberly, and yesterday we saw the highest daily record for COVID-19 cases reported in one day with more than 1,000, and today we set the second highest record. So county health officials are really just urging everyone to follow these restrictions and these new closures in order to avoid more serious problems down the road. It is really about wearing facial coverings and the social distancing and staying home if you are sick. As we go into the Thanksgiving, holiday. We know that people want to get together, but I encourage you to follow the guidance that we have posted on our website that uh, the state as well as the CDC uh, are recommending. Really limit, limit your uh, engagements or gatherings over the holidays. Follow the guidance from the state. No more than three households. Uh, I would strongly encourage you not to travel uh, out of state. And county officials say they have already handed out 10 cease and desist letters today alone to those that were not in compliance with the latest restrictions and closures over the weekend. And starting tomorrow, possibly even tonight, they will start listing those businesses and entities that receive those letters on the county's website. They say as the colder weather arrives, more people are gathering inside where the virus can quickly spread. And that's what's causing a big concern going into the winter months. On Friday, Supervisor Greg Cox says letters were sent to mayor across the county to step up enforcement efforts in their jurisdictions. A regional compliance team is also moving forward with responding to complaints received about businesses just not following the rules. Dr. Wilma Wooten has also asked law enforcement agencies to step up enforcement. They said if a large gathering is happening inside of a home, which we have seen, police can issue citations, but that can also end up in court. We've already seen some mayors and law enforcement officials across the county say they're not going to strictly enforce these rules. Supervisor Supervisor Nathan Fletcher said today they will continue to ask for help because the cooperation from law enforcement is necessary to slow the spread. We are live today. Mimi Alcala, ABC 10 News. A tough situation for everyone. Thank you, Mimi, for that live update. And here are today's numbers. The county is reporting 833 new cases, bringing the total to 65,501. No new deaths reported. Today is Monday. That's typical. The county's death toll remains at 926. COVID-19 cases have now hit unprecedented numbers across the state. 94% of Californians are now in the most restrictive tier, including all of Southern California. ABC 10 News anchor Vanessa Van Hefty explains the governor's new measures announced in light of those numbers. Governor Gavin Newsom sounding the alarm, COVID-19 cases doubling in California in the last 10 days. This is simply the fastest increase California has seen since the beginning of this pandemic. Shattering a previous record set in June, this map of purple up and down the state shows 41 counties now in the most restrictive purple tier as opposed to just 13 last week. San Diego County and LA counties both in that purple tier accounting for just under half of the state its daily case average of 8,198. Hospitalizations have also shot up with a 48% increase over the last two weeks. Governor Gavin Newsom announcing more restrictive measures Monday. Counties will now move back into tiers every week instead of every two weeks. Governor Newsom says the good news Monday, Pfizer and Moderna are both making strides in the trials of their mass vaccinations. I think some positive developments and some encouraging signs uh, in terms of the proverbial light at the end of this very long 
dark tunnel. And with the holidays approaching, Governor Newsom continued to hammer down on safety protocols, admonishing those who gather in large groups. You have done more. You have done better. At the same time, apologizing for attending a birthday party in an exclusive Napa Valley restaurant with his wife, ignoring his own advisories. The spirit of what I'm preaching all the time uh, was contradicted, and I got to own that. And so I want to apologize to you uh, because I need to preach and practice, not just preach and not practice. And I've done my best to do that. Uh, we're all human. We all fall short sometimes. Vanessa Van Hefty, ABC 10 News. Governor Newsom also said that all high school and youth sporting competitions will continue to be put on pause. He's also considering the idea of a statewide curfew. We'll have more on that possibility coming up on ABC 10 News at 6 o'clock. But right now, hundreds of people are calling on local and state government to let businesses reopen. And ABC 10 News reporter Anthony Perra is live at a growing rally downtown that includes community leaders from various areas of our county. Anthony. Kimberly, there's at least 300 people here, I would say, outside Waterfront Park here, outside of the county administration building. Right now, we're hearing from business owners. They're taking the podium to talk about the state of their businesses and livelihoods. The crowd here has been very engaged with the speakers. We'll hear loud applauses and cheers from them. That's been happening here for the past half hour. Now, I do want to show you this video from earlier this afternoon. Before this rally, there was a group of about 50 to 70 people that marched through downtown town. You can see them here marching along Broadway, waving flags, holding signs to reopen San Diego. This march and rally comes after new COVID-19 related restrictions took effect over the weekend, forcing many businesses like restaurants and gyms to shut down their indoor dining operations. Business owners out here are frustrated and desperate to open up, saying the restrictions not only hurting business owners, but their staff as well. Some of us are in danger of losing our homes. We're definitely in danger of losing our businesses, and, and we just had enough. Enough is enough. And back out here live. Now, Supervisor Jim Desmond is here. He spoke earlier expressing his support for businesses. The mayors from Coronado and El Cajon were here speaking as well. Now, we're going to stay out here, and we're going to hear from more businesses later tonight at 5 o'clock. We're reporting live from Waterfront Park, Anthony Pura, ABC 10 News. Yeah. The anger from our business community unprecedented here in our county. Thank you, Anthony, for that. And meantime today, President-elect Joe Biden and Vice President-elect Kamala Harris are charting their response to the economic crisis sparked by the pandemic. They spoke after a virtual briefing with top CEOs and labor leaders. Once we shut down the virus and deliver economic relief to workers and businesses, then we can start to build back better than before. We talked about how we have an opportunity to come out of this stronger. You said all government contracts will be given to American companies. He also called on Congress to pass an economic relief package, which would include funding for state and local governments. The House of Representatives got back to work today. They have some major items to address, like more coronavirus relief. The House is now offering widespread testing to members of Congress and their staffs for the first time since this pandemic started. That testing is voluntary. Now, even the World Health Organization is taking a hit from coronavirus as cases surge in Europe. There have been 65 recorded cases amongst the WHO staff in Switzerland. This is according to an internal email obtained by the Associated Press. The WHO says many of the cases are people who have been working at home.